<clears throat> what I want to do at this time is I want to share a story that my people have told me about um, our way of life. Uh, what I want to do is to um, remember the women, because a long time ago it was a woman. She was the one that set up the teepee. Nowadays it's always the men setting up the teepee, but a long ago it was a woman's. Um, that was what she did. And there's a reason for that because a woman, life comes from a woman, comes from a mother. If it wasn't for a mother, we wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for a grandma, we wouldn't be here. So we need to honor and respect that. That's the way we was brought up a long time ago. And we honor that. And like now, when you think about how almighty Mother Nature is, everybody on the face of the earth, we get something from Mother Earth. And Mother Earth provides for a lot, of, a lot of people the world over. So we think about how almighty Mother Earth really is, Mother Nature. <clears throat> so long ago, our people say that life come from a woman. So a woman, it was her concern about what, this is home. And what goes on in the home, she had a lot of concern about it. <clears throat> so they say that Long ago, uh, even setting up a teepee was a ceremony in itself. It wasn't just throwing things together, throwing this and that together. It wasn't that. It wasn't. It was a ceremony. And the story they told me was that <clears throat> when when you put the like the, some tribes are used three uh, three uh, poles for a tripod. Some would use four. But however you want to use, some people use the. Uh, uh, for them for different reasons but the main thing was to for the, the the beginning of the tripod the poles all the poles represent your relatives so as a woman was setting up the, the teepee she was talking to her children talking to her grandchildren talking to the young people as she was putting it up and she was telling them this is who you're related to this is your relative here these are your relatives and she'd pray for them Remember them. Maybe, maybe they're out someplace. Maybe they're camped a long way. They remember them in prayer. So as she put that up, that's what she was doing. The woman. And when they put the uh, the rawhide around it to hold it together, they say that rawhide was a, a symbolic of a woman's navel, the, the cord where life comes from. So that's what. To wrapped around her, that's what it represented. That's what the old people tell me. <clears throat> so when they, there's a prayer that goes with that too, and that's where life comes from. So she say, "Remember your mom, you know. Remember your grandmas. These are your grandmas here. You know, remember them. Think about them. Treat them with respect." She talked like that as a, the women folk as they're putting it up. And then when they put the, the buffalo hide around it. <clears throat> They say it takes about 15 buffalo hides to make a good family-sized teepee. And they put that around her, they say that was your grandma. And it's always grandma that holds the family together. It's always a known fact. And then when they put the, the lacing pins in there, they talked about the values of the family. Be nice to each other. Be kind. Don't go to bed mad at each other. Because we don't know who's going to be here tomorrow. We don't know who's going to wake up tomorrow. So don't go to bed mad at each other. Make up. Make amends. Say you're sorry. Say, teach them how to apologize. And then they say, most of all, don't go to bed mad at yourself. Find that forgiveness. Self-forgiveness. They used to teach that along the way. So they talk about the family values, all them pins like that, that hold it together. Those are your family values helping one another out. When you see somebody doing something, you don't need to be told or asked to go help them. You just go do that. Because someday they're going to come and help you, they say. So that's what they tell us. <clears throat> and um, the smoke flaps, they call them, some people call them ears. Some people call them smoke flaps. That represents mom and dad, grandma and grandpa. And they have to work together. When the, when the wind blows, they work together to control what's inside there, the smoke, the ventilation. <clears throat> they have to work together like that. 
If one's missing, it don't run right in there. That's why nowadays it's almost common for uh, children grow up thinking that and grow up in one parent homes and they think it's common. That's not, and that's why things don't run right. They have a lot of, lot of problems in the home because one's missing. It's either the father missing or the mother's missing. Something's missing, see. So things don't run right in the home. So this is what our ancestors told to work together. And then your grandpa and grandma, <clears throat> they work together like that in the home to, to make sure everything runs right in there. And then your rocks like this, they say, <clears throat> like nowadays they use pegs, but long ago the rocks, they represent the, your ceremonies. And ceremonies are the ones that keep the family spiritually grounded. That's what they tell us. So this is how our people was taught to set up a teepee. It was a ceremony. Even even setting up our home was a ceremony. And that's why a woman, she's the one that set it up because she cares about her family. She cares about how they get along. She's the one that taught them to, <clears throat> to love one another. And the wom women, they don't like war. See? That's why a long time ago they talk about a time when there was world peace and when we listen to the women. <clears throat> now we don't listen to them, so we have all kinds of wars. So we need to come back to listening to the women again, to have a, pay attention to them, what they're gonna tell us. Okay? So this is what our children need to hear. We start need to start respecting the women again, and it needs to start with us men, to start respecting them, show them, model the way again, like that. See? So, I wanted to share that story about the teepee with everybody. Uh, thank you.